So you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I know DC. I watch Arrow Universe. No, bad. No, I'm just kidding. I like Arrow. It's fun, but it's not the Green Arrow that I love. Listen, Green Arrow has a very long running series and there's some that are going to be recommended from people from back in the day and that's great green arrow i started reading reading about six seven years ago and now i have read a ton shit of his stories what are some of the best to get into to start this character i'm going to list them right below and you guys should check them out The two runs that really come to mind that are well worth reading from start to finish are Jeff Lemire's New 52 run, which to me is great. It's really, you could just read it by itself. It's volume four, five, and six if you collect trade paperback. And it's just perfectly done in a sense that you don't have to read anything before or after to really enjoy it. The artwork is phenomenal. It's very fast paced. And Jeff Lemire puts a spin on it where everything feels like there's stakes throughout the entire series. The characters feel human. The dialogue is tight and it's well worth checking out it's a little darker than the usual green arrow affair but it's not as dark as like the tv show so well worth checking out you could collect all three volumes for probably like 35 bucks or you can just collect a hard collector's edition of just jeff lemire's run which i'll list below check it out and the other run I really actually would recommend is Percy's Rebirth um, Green Arrow, which is actually happening right now and just ended. Uh, it has been good from start to finish, sometimes reaching heights of amazing for me. It's really just a compelling look at the character and giving him more of a lighthearted view of the world again and having fun, but still hitting off those political beats that has always been a part of the Green Arrow world. I also really love the art. Sometimes it is phenomenal, like some of the best I've ever seen. So it's even worth checking out just for that and it's not a super long run i think it's going to end on the sixth volume of the trade paperback i think that's where it's going to end his run um, but everybody you guys should check this out it is kick ass it is fun it has some of the best characters and it takes characters from uh, jeff lemire's run and brings them to this in a well done manner so definitely check out his current run the rebirth run of green arrow For standalone, I'm going to go with my favorite standalone tie that I read by itself and I didn't need to read anything after or before, Quiver. It's the return of Oliver and this is kind of like bringing back the character in a way I actually liked. A lot of times when they bring back characters, it just feels like it's forcefully bringing back characters that you died or got rid of that you just bring them back to make some extra buck. But Quiver actually is done by Kevin Smith. Obviously Kevin Smith loves this character from beginning to end and wrote him in a way that he wanted to see it done really well done. And it's compelling as fuck you get to see the character himself deal with a lot of uh, fatherly issues that he didn't get to when he was um, yeah, younger and kind of just reintroducing him to this modern world in a way that he's still kind of confused on what to do I really enjoy it you can read it by itself it's really a run in a sense because it's 13 issues but it's its own book by itself you can read it it's completed it's done it's great and there's some stuff that follows it in a, another run that's actually pretty good but this by itself is one of the best standalones and i think it's going to get you into the green arrow world but that's really it. I mean, Green Arrow has a ton of freaking runs and maybe standalones that I never read. So list them below if you tell people to check them out. These are the ones that I really enjoy that I think are great for starter and where you can just get right into it right away. I'll list them below as always. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, hit like, share it with your friends, and hopefully you check out some of these badass comics. Hey guys, some of you know that I've been working on my own comic called Sparks for years and it's finally coming all together. You can now check out the comic right on Comicology, where you can just order it for $2.99. And then you can also check out my website that I'm going to list in the info bar below. If you want to buy the paperback, will be next month at the end of May. And please check it out. Let me know if you do buy it or support it. And look out because we're going to have more issues coming as well as a trade paperback. Thank you guys for all the support throughout the years.